Say good morning. I'm glad to see you. Uh, move across the aisles. Okay, there it is. Like the BMC. It is surely a pleasure to see the family here, and those of you who are not members of this particular congregation, we surely welcome you to this service. We want to remember uh, in our prayers, we had a tragedy on our campus last night. A student was found dead on the track. You will want to remember that situation in your prayers, Kenneth Bain. And uh, of course, our hearts are saddened. And we want to uh, pray that uh, the Lord will come close to those who are close to this young man. I want to remind you this coming Wednesday evening of our lifeline, watching the war. Our pastor will be with us as we. Uh, continue that series. Uh, to those of you who have been here through the week, uh, I cannot say more than you have already experienced. To those of you who have not had the opportunity or did not come, you are certainly in for a blessing this morning. We welcome the pulpit Pastor Doug Bachelor, who has been conducting our week of prayer since Monday morning. We have found him to be uh, a very down-to-earth individual with uh, a presentation of the gospel in a very practical way. And so we welcome him as he concludes that series uh, this morning in this service, in the second service. I want to give uh, Pastor Skip a moment or two here because he said so. Thank you, Pastor Dave. When you're thinking about this second service, you probably noticed in your bulletin that uh, Doug Bachelor is going to be speaking two different messages today. And we just wanted to remind everyone that the second service is broadcast live on the LDA Quebec, 90.7 on your dial. We don't have room in the second service to have people coming back is our problem. We, uh, we're just glad to have this kind of a problem. But we want to make room for our college students. And so thank you folks so much, first of all, for supporting our first service, as you do consistently. And secondly, for, for making use of the radio this afternoon for the second service and getting on the second message then. Thank you so much. There is an insert in your bulletin that we'd like to call your attention to. And I trust that each one of you at this very moment, if you just pull that insert out and look at it. It's entitled, We Remember. A hundred and fifty years later, we remember. Next Sabbath morning is going to be uh, one of the highest high days in Israel. Sabbath morning, the regular service, 8.20 and 11.20. Sabbath afternoon at 3 p.m. Join in from disappointment to hope, praise and prayer service. At 5 p.m., uh, the Russian Adventist Choir, Ecclesiastes, will be here in the sanctuary. You surely will not want to miss that. Then Saturday evening at 8 p.m., and then Saturday night at 11 p.m. So just, uh, maybe you need to put a sandwich in the uh, case as you come to church next Saturday. But Let's plan for a full day together to enjoy each other's company and to uh, praise the Lord and uh, be thankful for the blessings that he has given to us. We remember the entire Sabbath and into the evening next Sunday. May I call your attention now to our call to worship as is found on the inside front cover of your bulletin. Back of the front cover of your bulletin, our call to worship. Jesus. 
Jesus proclaimed, You are the salt of the earth. Even, Even though, though we have heard that before, we do, we do not, not know what it means. Our use of salt was to preserve what was necessary for life. Then, then you are the salt of the earth. Let, Let us worship the God.
the altar, bringing your cares and your joys, your petitions. So as we sing this song, let us uh, either kneel in prayer or come to the altar where we will also kneel.
for the young, for all of us. That our walk before you would be found acceptable in your sight. So that we can have that experience, Venus, that we walk with God. And that God has finally and at last taken us to spend an eternity with him. May this Sabbath day be all that you intended that it should be for each one of us. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen.
The demanding needs of the church today requires faithful benevolence in giving. The comforts of this church could never be supplied without your commitment. So this morning, our offering is for PMC operating expenses. We do not wish to come and beg. We expect God's faithful children, members of this church, to give unflinchingly so that all the needs of this church in this kind of complex society and community can be met. For the deacons, collect our offering and tithe this morning. We are also going to expect from you another commitment when the children, the future of our church, will be moving throughout this congregation, collecting funds, hopefully to make the additional added places here of worship so that they can be comfortable. Let us now pray. Gracious, loving Father, this beautiful Sabbath morning, fall atmosphere, we thank you for life. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your protective care to us. We ask now that you will bless what we are about to give return for our many blessings from you. May it be used wisely so that the needs can be met here and the work can continue in peace in your coming. To this end we pray for Christ's sake. Oh. 